If you haven't seen the Nutcracker Ballet, you've heard of it. It's hard to miss every holiday season. But this year is different at one performance in our nation's capital. It features a dancer no one expected, a defector from Cuba. Now living in America, the last year of his life has been remarkable. Here's Margaret Brennan. 21-year-old Josue Justis has a unique talent for landing on his feet. After just eight months in the U.S., the Cuban defector is a rising star in the Washington Ballet. My dream is dance. Anywhere. Yeah, if I'm dancing, I'm happy. Leaving his family behind in Cuba, especially his mother, was difficult. She reluctantly gave him her blessing. I talked to my, my mom, she was okay. Your mom was okay? Yeah, she told me if, if it's the best for you, it's the best for me too, so do it. While on tour in Cancun with Cuba's National Ballet, Hustis fled with just a few sets of clothes and $400 in cash. After a 1,600-mile bus ride, he walked across the border into McAllen, Texas. By law, any Cuban who enters the U.S. is allowed to stay. Hustis said he feared mm -hmm. for his life during the journey. I mean, it was scary because you don't know what's going to happen to you. On to center. A few months later, he was discovered at a dance competition by Septim Weber, the Cuban-American director of the Washington Ballet. Your torque of the soda basque is continuing on in the jeté. Weber said it's true that Cuba has produced a large number of top-tier dancers, known for their strength and athleticism. But there's a downside. Dancers there are restricted to performing the classics and have only one major ballet company to join. Yes, yeah, do that with the arms so it's a super dramatic jump. That's why Hustiz is one of many who have left. They're defecting because there's a demand for Cuban dancers in the world because they're just so darn good. They can jump higher, turn more. They have a style which is electric. The benefits in the U.S. are also financial. Hustis can now help support his family. Back in Cuba, my mom was helping me. Your mom was helping to support you back in Cuba? Yeah, now I can help her. By next Christmas, Hustis hopes that his family will join him in the U.S., the place that he now calls home. Margaret Brennan, CBS News, Washington.